Okay, just a quick tip today. This is a prime example of what you do not want to do. Okay, just a quick tip today, uh, wax moth prevention. You have to understand the wax moth if you want to prevent the wax moth, about like any pest. The wax moth loves dark areas, so a beehive is the ideal location for the wax moth because the hives are generally sealed up tight, it's nice and dark in there, and that's what they like. So in order to prevent wax moths from getting in your supers or your beehives and messing up your comb, which is very, very valuable, the key is getting light, constant light going through those, uh, those supers. And this is one of the two methods that I use. I crisscross the supers or the beehives. It really doesn't take up that much more room than stacking them in line. So I normally take a lid, as you can see, flip the lid upside down, and then crisscross the hives or the supers on top of that. Uh, the beehive, the lid on the bottom, if you're, I'm in a barn, if you're in an area where there's uh, moisture on the ground, it just really helps keep those boxes uh, dry and out of the water. And uh, that, you know, helps prevent your boxes from starting to rot. So this is one of the two methods. And we'll just come over here and I'll show you if you, if I stick the camera in here, you can see through these frames, there's constant light. And like I said, that's that's key for the wax moth. I've been doing this for a couple years now, and it really, really works great. Uh, I used to use the moth crystals. They work good most of the time, but I have had wax moth damage even with the crystals. Uh, it happens. You have to make sure the boxes are sealed up. You have to air them out. With this method, I don't have to air these boxes out. They're ready to use immediately. Now, occasionally, I will have a mouse get into these supers. Um, it's pretty rare, but it does happen from time to time and the key to that or to keeping the mice out of any of your beekeeping equipment Go to a tractor supply or a hardware store get you one of these little Tomcat boxes uh, I have fell in love with these things. I have very very little mice in my barn now and I went ahead and bought the one that has the removable bottom uh, I can't do it one-handed. I don't think let me see no, I can't do it one-handed, but this whole uh, cartridge here will slide out and you can buy the little green pellets to drop in here uh, to refill it. So it works really, really well to keep the mice out of your beekeeping stuff and basically any of your stuff for that matter. So the other way that I keep some of my supers, if I, if I don't stack them up uh, crisscrossed, is I just simply lean them up against the wall in an area that's gonna get plenty of sunlight. Um, and I just make rows like this one. So I have one row here, and then I have another row here, and then I may put a third row there. Uh, again, the key is keeping sunlight in there. I don't think that you have to have light shining through the supers 24-7. Um, if it's getting sunlight every day, uh, I think that's good enough. You just need some constant light going through there. You don't want it uh, being in the dark for days and weeks at a time. So here's just a few more boxes that I've got stacked up crisscrossed in this stall. Um, this is a prime example of what you do not want to do. Um, some of these had some comb in it and they did get wax moth damage. Uh, I just didn't I didn't get the didn't get the comb out of these. I try to if I stack up boxes like this in line, I try to make sure that I get all the comb out, but a few of them I didn't. And this is a prime example. So I've got a mess in here now to clean out. I've also got the same thing over here in some of these queen castles. This one, for example, you see a lot of trash here. And if you go up and look at the vent hole, the wax moss, there's so much trash in this hive that it's almost clogged up the vent hole. So again, just don't keep your bees hives sealed up tight crisscross them, lean them up against the wall. Just make sure that you've got steady light 
flowing through. And if you do that, you'll have absolutely no problem. And it doesn't cost anything. So you don't have to buy moth crystals. Um, you don't have to try and purchase a freezer truck or buy a huge freezer to put hives in. I've done that before. Uh, setting supers in a freezer for two or three days and then putting them in trash bags. It's just it's just a lot of hassle and a lot of mess. And you know, once you get so many hives, you, you can't you can't freeze everything. And if you do, it really costs a lot of money. So this is just a cheap alternative to um, other methods, just using the, the sunlight. All right, so if you like that quick tip, uh, give us a thumbs up, like the video, and think about subscribing. Uh, also, be looking out for another video in the future. I'm going to show you what I do when I do have a frame uh, or a hive that gets wax moth damage because it's not always a waste. Um, I used to clean the frames out and throw everything away, but I don't do that anymore. I actually uh, salvage what I can, and I'm going to make a video on that. Have a good one.